okay now we have adjusted the, uh, the labels of the fields report view this is a report view i'll go back design view put page numbers n of m bottom alignment what should be right center left you can see this alignment we have selected now let's have a print preview now you can see page one of one is appearing there okay we'll go back to the design view now we want to have total for quantity field so total or any any other formula aggregate function you can use some average count records count values so we'll say sum of quantity now sum is appearing here and you can put a label okay total quantity okay in the report header we'll put another label product list and for sure you can change the format automatic and this should be give it any format now print preview okay the product list id product name quantity this, these fields are appearing here now we'll see how to put how to calculate a value in a report so let's draw a text box okay and this you can see this showing unbound unbound means it is not linked to any field for the time being let me just remove the layout remove layout and then we we'll adjust the fields This will be our we bring down this is the text box. So I'll put it here. Select property sheet. What we want to achieve now the quantity is five, unit price is five hundred. So in this field it is it should show the total value. So it equals to quantity multiplied by unit price. just copy and paste another label we'll get total value as a label I get there and now we run the report so you can see total value 500 uh, give it a format a little bit okay uh, first of all I will just make sure that the alignment is correct so align bottom okay go to property sheet format format should be currency because the unit price is also showing in the format currency format so now you can see total value and unit price now remember one thing that access has calculated put the aggregate function on the field itself so for this one you can carry on with the sum or average or other functions but this field or text box because this text box is calculating the values at runtime so that's why you can't put aggregate function directly on this one what is the other way to achieve the target that if you want to have total for this also total value because in this column it is appearing for individual products you want to have total value So you can put total, open property sheet, currency, data, now equals to control source. Here we can use the aggregate function, sum quantity multiply by sum unit price. So here you can see the total quantity is 55 and the total value is appearing here. So this is how you work with the, a blank report, change the format, link it to the tables and put some formulas there. In the next session we will be looking at how to create a report grouped by category or brand because we have two products by HP. Now these all, all the products are coming here. So if, for example, if you have 1000 products, all the products are coming as per their sequential IDs.
but we want to have grouping by brands or grouping by category. So in next session, I'll show you how to achieve that goal. Till now, have a nice day. That's all.